plaintiff, Randy Conant, runs a daycare, and she watched the defendant's child. Randy claims after the defendant started having problems with Randy's adult son at work, she stopped bringing her child to the daycare and left with an outstanding bill. So she's suing. Defendant Carla Burwright says the reason she had a problem with Randy's son is because he's a sex offender and he lived in Randy's home. Carla claims she didn't realize Randy's son was a sex offender until they started working together at a different job and he was fired for sexual harassment. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. I'll start with you. Um, I run a daycare. I started watching her child. Uh, we didn't have any issues until April. Um, bunch did of... you know the defendant before then? No, I did not, sir. Okay. How um, did you all come to meet? One of my other daycare moms uh, introduced us, and she needed a babysitter. So... I told her, gave her my uh, contract and stuff, and we met the morning of the day, the first day I started watching her child. Okay. Um, How much do you charge? Uh, normally I charge $20 a day. Um, I did give her a deal. I felt bad because she's a single mom. I know how hard it is. So I gave her $15 a day. Okay. How did things go? Um, actually, the first two months was actually pretty good. There was some drama between um, Carla and my son and the other mom. Um, what are you referring to? Your son? What is he? My he lives son. There my son is. He lives at home. Mm -hmm. He's my youngest son, twenty. Um, he's a sex. He's a sex offender. Um, him and his girlfriend. They were sixteen, seventeen. And he was charged. Um, he's dealing with it. Um, they were 16, Statutory. 17. The offense was based on their age or some yep. other? Yes. Right. Um, uh, Your Honor, I actually do have right here I, uh, sex offender registry. I have him as a third degree sexual assault. You see it? As what? Third degree sexual assault. Yeah. I ahead. did not know that he was yes, a sex did. offender. Yes, you did. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. All I my did mothers. not know that your son was a sex offender. Otherwise... Yes, you did. Carla, you worked with him in I your job. I didn't find out until I worked with him. No, with you them. knew. She, she is his boss. We she hired, was his boss. We hired him through our company. How long ago? This was in, it had to be March, Because late March. I'm sure this is one of the disputes involved in perhaps the daycare breach of contract. You found out, you, that her son is oh allegedly a sex offender, and so that's why you stopped, you, bro you exactly. broke the contract. Okay, so tell me, you say he worked for you when? Beginning uh, we hired when? him in March of 2017, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I was his lead, so I supervised him, and with one of our other employees, he actually got terminated for uh, because sexual they harassment. Quiet, man. The sexual harassment? And then that's when I turned it over to HR for an investigation, and that's when I found out that her son was a third-degree sex offender. All right, so tell me what happened. How did, did she mention this and say, I don't want him to come anymore, well, or my child to come anymore because I've just discovered she this actually information? Didn't, she what? didn't say anything about that. Um, I know when I talk to all my moms and do the contract with each one of them, I do explain myself. You have my a copy of the contract? Yes, I do. I do say to my moms that my son is here mm -hmm. and he is a sex Wisconsin sex offender. You do say that? Yes, I mean it's okay. sad to say, but I do because I'm sorry I want them me. to know. Yes, I did. I want no. them to know that he is there. Just so they know. I mean if they don't want their child there, you know, I explain to them what you know, what happened, whatever. I had um, no idea of what yes, happened. Did, Carla. I have right, no she details. She says you didn't the tell her. So I that's told why. all oh. my moms. I've told all my moms in the beginning. It's their choice if they want their kid to be around them or not. Um, well, the thing of it is, he's not around all the kids. He goes to work at seven, seven thirty in the morning. I do daycare. There's the Snapchats day. of Quiet, him when I'm gone. Pardon? When he is gone, that's when I have all my kids. When he comes back from work, all my kids are going home.
It's embarrassing, but I guess for, I would rather have him know just because he's registered. I mean, I have to, there's no way around it. I, and, and she knew, I tell all my parents, all of them knew there's no ifs, ands, but. So why do you think she withdrew? Why do I think? Cause she don't yes. want to pay. She don't want to pay the 200. I had no well, let's, okay, so let's get to the facts. What month did she say, I want my child pulled, and did she, she tell you why? She didn't say anything. I ended up on the 28th I, of April. I finally texted her, and I said, what is going on? No reply. I have text messages from her, and I asked her when she was going to come over and pay me what she owed me for daycare. And she sent me a text back the next day stating, oh, well, what do I owe you daycare? Or what do I owe you for exactly? I'm like watching your kid for okay. a month. When did she stop bringing the child? The 27th was the last okay, time. Okay, the day before. Uh, yep. April 27th, she yep. stopped. Yes. And the next day you asked, where's my money? I asked her what was going on. And then I asked her if she was going to pay. Yeah, on the 28th. Yes. Okay, and her response was, what money are you talking about? You have yes. that? Ma'am, let me hear from you. You give me some background. All right, well, I pulled my child out because when I found out, I was very upset. Nobody... When did you find out? I found out the day before I pulled my kid out. So April 27th. Exactly. Who told you this? How did, uh, you don't have we, to give me a name. We did a little research ourselves. We whom? Me and my friends whose child What prompted was going you to there? do that? What prompted? What prompted you? Yes, ma'am. The sexual harassment at the job. Because her son sexually harassed someone at the job? Yes, sir. And the person that was harassed at the job also had a child there? Yes, sir. Okay. And when you did look it up, that's what you found. Exactly. And so immediately you pulled your child out. Uh, is that anything? Do You're... you know anything different to be the case? Well, the person that she's talking about, um, was calling my son to come pick him up to go to Walmart with her on many occasions. And I asked him, I said, well, why are you with one of my moms? And he goes, well, she wanted me to come over. She wanted me to go to Walmart with her. And I'm like, why? And he's like, well, I don't know. We work together, mom. We're just friends. That's all that he, that was said. And then next thing you when know. When he came home fired, what did you ask? Um, I asked him, and he said he didn't know. Honest to God, he, he didn't, didn't know why he was fired. No. Does he not, know yet? He didn't know until the HR department finally called him. That's After a couple of days. Okay. Since then, have you asked, hey, did you find out why you were fired? Yes. Or and what he happened? Told me, what did he say happened? He told me that he got it for sexual harassment, and I'm like, what? And he says, Mom, I did not. These girls start so much drama, it's not even funny anymore. That's what they, you're saying? Yeah. So we went to the probation officer with it, with all of this, and she even did a lot of investigation and talking. And Fine. Anthony, he, my son said he did not do anything. Your witness want to speak? Yes, Your Honor. State your name. I am Deborah Meyer. Mm -hmm. I am Randy Conan's daughter-in-law. I help her with uh, watching mm -hmm. the kids. All right. When my bro my brother-in-law was looking for a job, Carla came around when. My mom started watching her son. Carla offered to help him get the job with her and her friend, knowing the circumstances. How do you know she knew? Because I was standing right there with my mother-in-law. When what? When she informed Carla of his charges. And that was what month approximately, um, if you can think, what month even? I think it was March. You were standing near the door when they were discussing it? No, she lives with me. Your okay. Yes. So you were ear hustling. Ear hustling. <laughs> you at the top of the stairs listening to them talk. With the glasses. No, I was You should have been getting ready to go to work. And you informed her that that's why you were removing your no, child? No, I did not. Yeah, why didn't you do that then? I wanted to avoid conflict because of the harassment with everything that was going on at the Anthony. Did you ever ask her directly why she was removing the child? I know you were asking for your money, but yes, that's a I common question. Her, I yes. text her a message of what, what was me? going on. It's I, I do have it in there. I wanted to know what was going on. And she never gave you any response? No, no. Never, no response, no nothing. Just the text of, what do I owe you for? 
Ma'am, why didn't you respond? You text that. What do I owe you for? At that time, we did contact Child Protection Services because after I pulled my son out, the babysitter that we now go to, she said that she gets lots of children from her, no. and there were claims of children no, being hit. No, that's quiet. No. Children being what? Hit and spanked during nap time, and actually my friend's little girl, she's five years old, walked up to her mommy and told her that. No. no. None of the kids get spanked. Approximately when house. did that happen? Um, when did when you learn of that? About a week before we both okay. pulled our children out. And the monies yeah. you're suing for, are they for time for babysitting services you provided? Yes. Or just for the entire contract? No, I, babe, no, for the Just for the, the days you provided? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And did she keep your child all of April? Yes. Yes, for the So why don't you think you should have to pay her for the time that she did keep the child? Well, in the contract, the number one thing stated is I will keep your child safe. And at then, I didn't feel like my child was safe. So I feel like she violated her own contract. Right, for the and future. That's correct. Dime. For the future. You're absolutely right. But no, no harm came to your child no. while your child was there with her. Emotional stress, yes. What happened with the child? My son's father died last November and he was yep. just in recovery and he was in therapy and he was getting better and better and better. Then all of a sudden towards the end, no. my son started coming home crying, screaming. My son doesn't really speak that much. Okay, so you don't know old. why he was crying and no, screaming. No, he it was- All she wants is the money that she earned by keeping your child. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. She, she lied way too much. I didn't. I have always made sure your son was safe. No, you did not. Yes, you I did. Not did. Say you me. know what? I don't even know why you're going this far because Anthony even fixed your car. You two left together. So stop your That's drama. That's what I knew. It was third degree sexual assault. You did not tell me that my son was going to your house where you oh, smoke whatever. in your room. We do not. You, yes, you do. You smoke in your bedroom. No way. You're a drama no. queen.